Oh my god, we're winning. 40 something thousand damage. We won. We actually won with all these debuffs. The next time she gets a turn, she's dead. <laughs> I did it with a level 20 Sambo. Oh my god. Hey everyone, Mtash here, and it's time to stop the slander of Sampo, even though I'm someone who is like, eh, I don't know if I like this guy, damage over time, eh, eh, shut up, Mtash, you're dumb. Um, it has been essentially proven that Sampo is way better than I initially thought, but there's a few other characters that I want to mention because they do a similar value play. Let's talk about Sampo on, uh, on the slander that's been going on and why he's actually pretty nuts. Now, Sampo's talent will blind enemies, but when you initiate a fight, you have a 100% chance to delay all enemies' actions by 25%, meaning there's a very good chance your team goes first. And what's crazy is, depending on how you look at it, this is actually better than Welt. Welt is a 5-star unit that can slow down the enemies and a 20% uh, action delay versus 25% action delay. The other thing, though, is Welt is a base chance. So if there's a very high uh, resistance enemy, they can resist it. With Sampo, you cannot resist it. He says, no, 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 you're going and you don't get a turn uh, no matter what, which is actually pretty insane value uh, if you're trying to speedrun stuff and get your turns first. So everyone is pushed back, we get our turn first, and now we can just start shredding. Let's take a peek at his ultimate. We've got multiple different enemies here. We're going to use it. Okay, place it. Beautiful. Check this out. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear, wind shear. Now, when I first saw his kit, I was like, eh, why have damage over time when I can kill enemy in one turn? But in the simulated universe, when things get tankier, damage over time can actually be pretty amazing. And because there's ways for other units to put on damage over time, Giving them damage over time vulnerability can be amazing. And when you start stacking some of the buffs in that simulated universe, it can become one of your biggest damage sources. I'm not going to say this is a must build unit, but this is a very unique value play uh, for your account. The fifth simulated universe is pretty tough and a lot of people have been getting stuck on it. But he actually can take out most of the elite enemies as well as the boss and shred the shields. Which I would try to show you right now, even though I'm underleveled. Let's get to one of the elite encounters so you can see this in action. Made it to the elite, and the funny thing is, is a lot of the enemies aren't getting turns. Because I open the fight with Sampo, I can reduce their turn meter with Welt, and uh, they just don't get to attack me. So I've been able to make it through with my level, my level 20 Sampo because they're all... Um, weakness broke all the time, their shields are down. And so let's open up the fight here with Sampo. I want to show you how he can shred the shields. I think I've got my ultimate ready to go after I use my skill. And uh, I'm really excited about how he's performing. I'm going to be... Hey, blind! Excuse me! Thank you! <laughs> I'm going to be building this guy, like, today. So let's get started here. Good. The, stronger, the, better. the shield, all right. The shield, let's take a little peek. So I'm going to open up. What are you waiting for? To Let's go like this. Customers, I charge extra. Let me turn your wounds. Pretty decent amount. I didn't use my E ability just now. I don't know why I didn't use I it. Uh, but that's okay. Check this out. Now, this is where Sampo shines a little bit. When there's one single enemy and you're attacking multiple times. You're not reducing that much shield. You're reducing that much shield four times. <laughs> ba 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 ba. What's this? I can increase my Eidolons and now he's going to be even stronger? Let's talk about this because maybe you've got Sampo... And he's even stronger than you might realize. Because with Eidolons, Sampo pops off even more. With number one, his skill hits one more time, which is one more application of that shield shred, which is one more opportunity for him to win sheer enemies. With number two, defeating an enemy that's wind sheared will apply stacks to everyone. This is actually insane when you start getting Eidolons, and I honestly kind of hope that I get more copies. All right. I continue to push in with my level 20 Sampo, and like, there's no way I should win this fight. If I win this fight, there is something Better wrong, make a choice. but I'm gonna try, okay? We're gonna take some time, I've got some debuffs, but I'm gonna see if I can beat it. We're hardly getting turns because I just keep shredding their shields over and over again. This is insane. And shredding more shields, burning them out, like, I, I, I can't believe that this is working. One of them is down. It's Let's free now. Now it's going to be even more OP because there's only one target, so I can shred the shields, like, single-handedly with Sampo. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm so impressed with what he's doing right now. There's no way, right? 
<laughs> like, there's no way I'm actually gonna gonna beat this, right? Seventeen thousand damage from Bleeds there. Oh my god. Let's begin. I'm gonna win this fight. Like, I'm actually gonna win this fight because I'm applying so many debuffs with uh, with Welt and with Sampo. He just keeps taking like twenty thousand damage per turn. Seventeen thousand damage every turn. Now, could I die? Maybe, maybe. But uh, it's it's kind of getting crazy in here. I wonder if the enemy has any debuffs. I wonder. I wonder if the enemy has any debuffs. I beat it. I actually freaking beat it. This is insanity. I don't think there's any possible way that I win this because, <laughs> like, I have no cleanse. But if we do it with level twenty, uh, Sampo, you all have to build them Good. now. This business, eh? If she never gets a turn, then I can win. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna do this. We're actually gonna do this. We're gonna win. I'm on to the final phase almost. Oh my god. This is crazy. Uh, if we can shred this uh, before she gets a turn, I think we can win it. All right, domination on a couple of my units. One of my healers, unfortunately. I'm gonna push back that turn meter a little bit. There is no other choice. Hopefully. Okay, a little bit. And shred those shields a little bit. That's too bad. I don't get the revive. I didn't get the revive because of uh, that kill. Let's see if we can still do it. I think with better RNG, we might be able to do this. We're gonna do it. We're actually going to do it because of the uh, the counters from Clara and all of these debuffs. All I have to do is stay alive here and I can do this. Oh my God, we're winning. 40 something thousand damage. We won. We actually won with all these debuffs. The next time she gets a turn, she's dead. <laughs> I did it with a level 20 Sambo. Oh my God. This is crazy. I'm, I'm going to go for a reward just to, re just to treat myself. Maybe I get something. I got it. I got a, a piece of trash with fence scaling. That, that, that is, if that was an element, this was literally a God roll. Come on. There was no trickery here. I legitimately just did that at level 20 with no traces upgraded, nothing. Now, that being said, I have a level one light cone, so that helps. A level one light cone. Now, for my relics, I did have some speed and that was helping me shred the shields, but the fact that this worked is incredible. Now, let me show you how to build him if you wanna do insane damage. You can go for speed, this set does work, but I wanna show you a couple artifact sets that will take him to the next level. And I wanna explain something, uh, I mentioned it in my last video about uh, this break chance or break effect. Break effect is kind of like a um, elemental mastery for breaking the shields and for damage over time. You wanna stack as much break effect as humanly possible on him because not only will he do big chunks of damage when you break those uh, those shields, but he'll also do more damage over time on his uh, on his, his wind shear and anything else he applies uh, during something like the simulated universe. You probably wanna hunt down the Thief of Shooting Meteor. This one here gives you break effect and then another 16% as well as some energy as you're doing that, which is very valuable. Then on the helmet and gloves, if you can get more break effect on it, that is a big win or speed. Speed is gonna allow you to get turn cycles uh, and apply more damage over time. And so you're gonna to wanna to look for break effect as well as speed. On your chest piece, you probably want attack percentage because that's going to apply to his damage over time because you get a percentage of his attack and you don't really need crit rate or crit damage on the chest. As for the boots, you could go attack percentage if you want those damage over times to hit really hard or you can go for more speed. But even this set, just equipping on Sampo would be a pretty big upgrade for my character right now. Now this set is pretty darn good, but you can't farm it until world tier four. It gives you extra break effect. And if your speed is high enough, you get even more. And this one's interesting because you could go for wind damage but you could also just stack attack and boost the damage over time values. You could also build tanky if he was having trouble surviving, but you have a couple options here that would be pretty good value overall. But on your link rope, you absolutely want to get break effect. There's no reason not to. As you ascend Sampo, he gets even more valuable, and even by level 60, getting this energy when you ultimate is going to be kind of gross. 
I think that this is almost a must build unit. If you looked at how valuable that was. And if you get Eidolons, he's even crazier. I apologize for the slander, but after testing him out myself, I have to say this guy's kind of crazy. I also would recommend if you have Welt, pairing them together could be amazing because the multi hits. Or if you don't have Welt, Asta can be pretty amazing too because she can shred shields uh, and she can apply multiple hits to apply debuffs if you do go down that uh, nihility path or whatever you want to call it. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.